Hello, 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 and welcome to... Today we're talking about another card that's topical. Not because it's a new card, but because it jumped in price with spoilers from the new sets of Coria and Commander 2020. The card is Penman's Aura. But before we dive into this, only about 10% of you are subscribed to the channel. So how about you click that button? It's an easy task, and you can always undo it if I grow stale. So, Penman's Aura. An old blue enchantment aura for 1 and 2 blue that can give the enchanted creature a butt ton of abilities. You can pay a blue to untap the creature, pay a blue to give it flying until end of turn, pay a blue to give it shroud until end of turn, and pay 1 generic mana to give the creature plus 1, minus 1, or minus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. That's a lot, but the combo potential comes from the first line, pay a blue to untap enchanted creature. And even though Penman's Aura did increase in price, you can do all of these combos I'm going to talk about with another aura enchantment, freed from the real. For one blue, you can tap or untap enchanted creature. So keep that in mind if you want to do these combos but don't have the money to. So these combos are actually fairly simple. Find a creature that can tap for two or more mana one of which is blue, and you make infinite mana. Let's take an example, like, uh, you there, in the back. Zaxera, the Exemplary, a new commander from 2020. How convenient and topical. Anyways, Zaxera can tap for two of any one color. So with Penman's Aura attached to it, you can tap Zaxera for two blue mana, and then use one of those blue mana to untap Zaxera and then tap it again for two mana of another color. Use a blue mana from before to untap it and tap it again for two blue. Keep doing this for as much mana of any color as you want. You can even use a blue to give it shroud so it can't be targeted by spells or abilities. Technically, untapping Zaxera is not targeting it, so shroud isn't an issue to combo off. It's just protection in this case. And funny enough, this can be done with another card from Ikoria, Gigantha, the big boy elk. Gigantha taps are all five colors, but none of it can be used to pay generic mana. But with that one blue, you can untap Gigantha and get unlimited white, black, red, and green mana to, uh, not pay generic mana with? Uh, but, uh, here's another commander that can combo off with Penman's Aura. Arixmethy's Slumbering Isle. A 12-12 Kraken that comes in as a land with five slumber counters on it. You can tap for a green and a blue, and whenever you cast a spell, you remove a counter from him, and when there are none on Eryxmethes, he is finally a creature. A big creature. A goddamn island. But no trample for something that big, or island walk for being an island. Luckily, Penman's Aura can change that. With the Aura, you can now make endless green mana by tapping a Rixmethese for blue and green and then using that blue to untap him and repeating the process. If you have two more blue sources, you can give a Rixmethese Shroud and Flying for protection and evasion. Then, with all that green mana, you can use the last ability of Penman's Aura, giving a Rixmethese plus one minus one nine times to make him a 21-3 Flying Shroud creature. And in Commander, when a Commander does 21 damage to someone, that is lethal. But you don't need a legendary creature to combo off of Penman's Aura. There are tons of creatures that can tap for multiple mana. Fabro Elder and Bloom Tender tap for one mana of each color of permanence you control. Axbane Guardian taps for any combination of mana equal to the number of defender creatures you control. And Incubation Druid taps for three mana of one color if it has a plus one plus one counter on it. Put Penman's Aura on any of these creatures and you can make infinite mana. Just tap the creature for mana involving blue, use that blue to untap it, and repeat the process. Creatures that untap multiple lands also combo with Penman's Aura. Our Gothian Elder can untap two lands, so tap two lands, at least one of them for a blue, then tap the Elder to untap those lands. Use a blue mana to untap the Elder with Penman's Aura, and you can repeat the process. For redundancy, you can do the same process with Croson Restorer, but only if you have at least seven cards in your graveyard. You can go even deeper with multiple card combos, like with a creature that can tap for blue mana like Birds of Paradise, and Kanan, another new Ikoria card, that says whenever you tap a non-land permanent for mana, you get another mana of the type that permanent produced. So if you enchant your bird with Penman's Aura and tap it for one blue, it actually makes two blue thanks to Kanan. Use a blue to untap the bird and then tap it again for whatever color you want. 
You can then use all that mana on Kanan's second ability, which lets you put a non-human creature from the top 5 cards of your deck onto the battlefield. Other multi-card combos include Kiora's Follower with a land or artifact that can tap for 2 or more mana, like Simic Growth Chamber or Gilded Lotus. You just simply tap them for mana, then tap the Follower to untap that mana producer, and then use one of the blue you made to untap the Follower with Penman's Aura. But, Pentman's Aura can also be used to win the game, not just make you mana. It works really well with Inspired Creatures, which are creatures that give you an ability when they untap, like Servant of Timurit, which pings opponents when it untaps, and Siren of the Silent Song, that makes each opponent discard a card and mill a card when it untaps. A nice 3 card combo is Penman's Aura, one of these creatures, and Paradise Mantle, a zero cost equipment that lets the equipped creature tap for mana of any color. So, you equip your inspired creature, enchant it with Penman's Aura, and then tap it for a blue. Use that blue mana to untap with Penman's Aura, and then you get the inspired effect. Finally, Penman's Aura is a great card with Marik Rebarret. Without going through the whole complex combo, essentially, you can steal an opponent's creature for each blue mana you have. If you want to see a full breakdown of this, you can check out my Marie Curry Barrett combo video here, or my EDH deck tech on Marie Curry Barrett. Anyways, did you know about Penman's Aura? I've been playing it for years, and I love it. Will you pull off any of these combos? Let me know down below. And when you need another topical combo, come back here to Combo Breakdown.